it's Friday afternoon and it's time for yet another vlog uh, in the course 1DV525. Uh, this is a short one. Um, I will not do coding or, or show any examples, but I would, would like to get you all up to speed with the course. So uh, that is my, my goal. Um, let's have a look at the course webpage. Uh, first of all, uh, you handed in your uh, examination assignment uh, one last week. Those of you who haven't completed it, you are still able to hand it in and do a release. We will look at those when time comes. Uh, uh, you might not make it in this first batch, but we will have uh, another assessment of those later on in the course. It will not affect the grade in any ways. That first assignment is pass or fail only. Um, you should, by now, uh, have started with the exercises in the course. Um, if you haven't, you should really, really hurry up. Uh, and the exercise is, is uh, located under uh, um, part two uh, in the menu. Uh, we could have a look at the exercises. So on those exercises, I've recorded this getting started guide. I also have a hello world example. Uh, I need to do a re-recording of those. I will probably be able to do that Monday, I hope. Uh, because in those recordings, I'm referring to the old module loading, uh, uh, the, the old way of loading modules, uh, and that is using the common JS or the node modules uh, with require and uh, module dot exports. However, in this course, we have switched to using uh, the ECMAScript modules, uh, using import and export um, instead, um, and. You are supposed to use them in the exercises. You're used. You're you're supposed to use ECMAScript modules in the exercises. If you don't, you will get an error saying something like "require isn't defined." Some of you have have mentioned this already. Um, and if we look at the exercise, for instance, Tiny Tunes, and uh, visit source index.html, uh, you will see that over here we have loaded uh, the script Java, uh, in the folder JS and app.js as a type module. And this, this indicates that in this, this is a module and in, in this file you need to work with ECMAScript modules uh, and nothing else. However, we're using web, Webpack and Webpack is kind of watching your files and, and, and compiling those files into a version that is uh, working for each and every browser, uh, even if the browser doesn't support ECMAScript modules. Uh, and it does that by, by creating a build.js file. This file you will not find anywhere. It's not a physical file, it's, it's a virtual file uh, served by the web server. Uh, however, if we, we link this file uh, uh, at the bottom of the page and says no module. And that means that uh, older browsers will, will read this file and execute the script and it will work in older browsers as well. But since you have a probably a, a modern browser, uh, your browser will execute this one and you will get an error if, if uh, it says require. Um, and even if it says require in, in the app.js and the browser can't interpret that, if you had an older browser, ironically not, this one would work in the older browser because Webpack will uh, remove require and, and add uh, regular HTML and uh, CSS, uh, JavaScript instead. Uh, so please use ECMAScript modules and your life will be so much simpler in this case. Um, oh well, let's back up. Uh, but just be aware that in my examples and, 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 and those recorded demos for the botboard, for instance, we are using the old require import, uh, module export. Uh, so just see past that. I will not do a new recording of the botboard just for, for, for the modules. Uh, but I, 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 the Getting Started Guides will be updated. Uh, next week, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 
hesitant. Maybe I will go to Växjö, even if I said I will not. Or maybe I will do some kind of studio recording. But there are some things that I actually need to update. Uh, both regarding the events. Uh, since this is old uh, and we have started working with custom elements. Um, I would like to, to show how to work with events in, in a custom element. And how to be able to... to make your component or custom element in the browser uh, make that uh, trigger its own events. Um, and I, I do that in the Bart board recording, so if you look at that example you will see how I work with events, but I, I'm not doing that on, on the English version of the lecture. However, if you watch the Swedish version of last year's lecture, that is introduced in that one. Same goes out for, for the asynchron, asynchronous programming. Um, even though this is since last year, there are some uh, bits that I actually would like to change in that one. So I'm still hesitant if I will go to Vecra on Wednesday or not. Problem is next week is a really, really busy week for me. Uh, we have a lot of examination uh, oral hearings in Kalmar have a lot of meetings, a lot of peer instructions, uh, tutorings, a uh, lot of stuff going on. And that is why we don't have a tutoring pass next Friday, because we are all stuck with, with uh, oral hearings. Uh, but uh, as soon as you have a question, just post it in Slack and we will answer you as quickly as possible. If, if, if it means that we need to, to like call you up and, and like fix an error or something, we will we will do that uh, as soon as we have time. Maybe not on, 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 on the evenings, but, but uh, whenever we get the, the chance to do that, we will. Um, so I'm, I'm still not sure what will happen next week. You just stay in, in Slack and you will find out, I promise. Uh, work with the uh, exercises and start maybe next week looking at the examination assignment as well. Uh, you will need the lectures for next week for the examination assignment, but you are able to start at least mentally prepare yourself for that, ex uh, that assignment, so, so please do. Okay, hope I see you next week or the week after. Okay, bye.